SoFi, number eight of 21 here. So when it comes to me with SoFi, very strong growth company, like 40% plus type growth expected from this company over the next year. Uh, market caps obviously come down a lot. Very popular in the retail trader community. Now full transparency, for this video, I do have exposure to about a million dollars of SoFi stock, but I'm going to say things that are both bullish. And sell when SoFi hits $25. What? Buy when the market's fearful and sell when SoFi hits $25. Sell so when SoFi hits $25. I'll be damned. If you've been watching finance videos on YouTube, then you probably know who these three gentlemen are. This is Jeremy Lefebvre, aka Jeremy from the YouTube channel Financial Education. Jeremy, along with Meet Kevin, Graham Stephan, and Andre Jick, are part of what is known in the online finance community as the YouTube Finance Mafia. Combined, Jeremy, Meet Kevin, and Graham Stephan have around 7,637,500 subscribers across all their YouTube accounts. Now, what do these three gentlemen also have in common? That's right, SoFi. Now, it's no secret that we love SoFi stock. After all, we've probably made over 130 videos on it at this point. But what is interesting is that it appears that the YouTube financial mafia loves it too, especially with the latest addition to the We Love SoFi Club, Jeremy. In fact, if you love SoFi too, comment I love SoFi in the comments below so we know who's part of the SoFi Club. So we all know from the intro that Graham Stephan and Meet Kevin are invested in SoFi. But is Jeremy from Financial Education? Let's take a look. Next year, uh, market caps obviously come down a lot. Very popular in the retail trader community. The, the, the tough thing with SoFi stock price right now is SoFi, they're trying to figure out is SoFi more of a fintech or is SoFi more of a, um, a bank, right? And so that's a tough thing with trying to value SoFi right now is everybody's like trying to figure this out, right? Because banks, what do we know about banks? They're usually incredibly profitable, huge cash flows, very low growth. SoFi doesn't fit that. SoFi is high growth, uh, you know, n not impressive as far as the, the bottom line numbers, just not that company, right? At least right now, five years from now could be a different story, but right now they're not that company. And so that's a tough thing for me with the SoFi is I'm like, how do I value this stock? Um, do I, uh, in my opinion, although they're seeming like they're getting more and more into the banking space, I feel like so far I have to value this similar to like a PayPal or a Square stock. And so this is one I, I added to this watch list very recently. I'm going to do more work on this one. SoFi is really high growth. It's one of the main reasons we personally love it. Not only is it high growth, but in our non-financial advisor, not financial advice opinion, this mispricing or Wall Street's inability to properly identify whether or not SoFi is a bank or a tech stock is one of the main reasons it is completely being mispriced at its current levels, in our opinion. We believe that this mispricing, although not necessarily the most enjoyable for the short term, provides long-term investors massive opportunities opportunities to load up for extended periods of time before Wall Street and the suits get in. Uh, you know, not impressive as far as the, you know, the bottom line numbers, just not that company, right? At least right now, five years from now could be a different story, but right now they're not that company. And so that's a tough thing for me with the SoFi is I'm like, how do I value this stock? Um, do I, uh, in my opinion, although they're seeming like they're getting more and more into the banking space. I feel like so far I have to value this similar to like a PayPal or a Square stock. Did you ladies and gents hear that? I have to value this similar to like a PayPal or a Square stock. That's what I'm talking about. Jeremy from Financial Education, aka one of the top financial YouTubers, just said SoFi should be valued like a Square, aka Block Inc, or like a PayPal. Guys, this is funny because we actually made a video in the past on the hidden link between SoFi stock and Elon Musk slash PayPal, so it's funny that he's comparing it to PayPal now. By the way, we made that video like six, seven, maybe even eight months ago at this point, so if you want to check it out, the link for that will be in the description. After this video, of course. Anyways, this is crazy to think about because from SoFi's current market cap if it were to get to the size of square that's roughly a 10x from where it is today meaning that if you invested ten thousand dollars in sofi and it grew to be the same size as square that ten thousand dollars would then be worth a hundred thousand big ones and so this is one i, I added to this watch list very recently i'm going to do more work on this one and uh, don't be surprised if eventually i end up buying a sofi especially if the stock stays under ten dollars for a significant 
you know, amount of time. Sheesh. Jeremy may be joining the SoFi party, ladies and gents. And I think I can speak for all of us in the trenches when I say it would definitely be nice to see him here with us. After all, me, Kevin, and Graham Stefan are already here in the trenches with us. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. Jeremy from Financial Education may be the latest member from the YouTube Finance Mafia to join the SoFi party. What are your guys' thoughts? Do you think Jeremy will join? And what about Andre Jick? When is he joining this party? If you got any value from this video whatsoever, please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help the channel out a lot so we can continue to make videos like this for you guys. Also, shouts out to Jimmy Jim for giving us the idea to this video. Like always, you're a real one and we appreciate it. If you haven't already, feel free to join our SoFi Investors Facebook group. The link for that will also be in the description. We just passed 500 members, which is absolutely crazy. So if you haven't already, be sure to join us there. Also, we will be launching a Patreon near the middle to end of next month. So for you true Sophian soldiers who want even more content and real-time updates on what's happening to SoFi and whether it's rumor or fact, keep your eyes peeled for that coming near the middle or end of next month. Until next time, ladies and gents, peace.